Hello, and welcome to the latest Drive Time Ranch with me, Mr. 76. Guys, we're at war. We're at war for our minds. Okay, I'm seeing it, and, 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 and there's a battle that's ensuing every single day. Whether you, you think you're fighting it or not, you are. If you think you're involved or not, you are. It's, 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 a, it's a battle for your mind. It's what's happening now? Bombarded on a daily basis with messages and uh, media that tells you something, that's trying to change your perspective or something, that's trying to, trying to force you to think a certain way. Yeah? Trying to get you to, once they get you to a, a mentally agree with them, then they can do whatever the fuck they want. Ukraine. Did anybody, any, any of you want Ukraine to absorb as much millions and billions, of, not millions, millions ain't shit anymore, I'm talking about billions. How many billions? I didn't agree to that. I don't think anybody voted for that. The powers that are in, in, in place right now are doing stuff that uh, they don't give a shit about the people. The people, they don't give a shit about the Ukrainian people. Yeah, they don't. They give a shit about the maintaining the, the politics status quo. They, 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 they care about making sure that their pipeline of children into their pedophile rings, into their adrenochrome sucking rings, are uh, still kept flowing. These, they, they, the flow of children can't stop, so they'll, they'll, they'll give whatever. You know, the, the, the human is talked about, he's over there trying to stop this pedophile shit, right? He's actually said he's called them out. Has that really been in the front page of the news? Nah, Putin's a bad guy. I'm not saying I agree with Putin at all. I'm not. But I am agreeing with, with, with the fact that he seems to not be what they're telling us he is. Yeah? That's, that, that's my thing. He's not what they tell us he is. We're at war. The perspective is, is, is aligned with whatever radio station, TV channel, football team, basketball team, you support, whatever city you're from, whatever you, whatever city or state you were geographically born in, you somehow happens to, 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 to then be responsible for your political decisions are going forever. It's happening right now and you don't even realize it. They're pitting us against each other, got us arguing about race and Sexual preference and gender. Who gives a fuck? No one gives a fuck. What's really going on is control. They're breaking us apart. They're keeping us apart. They want us that way. As long as we're at each other's necks, blaming each other, pointing the finger at each other, these fuckers keep getting away with it. So what are we gonna do? You telling me that motherfucking Joe Biden stood up there, can't even spit a damn sentence together? Can't even make his way to a podium and say good afternoon, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe fucking Biden. Can't even say that one sentence right there. But I don't like fall on his fucking face and without needing a prompter in his ear. But somehow, somehow, people are still defending him. And this is what I can't understand. People are still defending him and he's still, you know, vying for president for the 2024 election. Is this even, is this even a thing? Are people literally just supporting so they don't so yeah yeah I'm, 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 I'm a Trump supporter? You know what? I fucking hated Trump the first time around, but now I look at him from a different perspective. He's the only one who's actually standing up and saying anything, anything to these fucking people. Not that I support Trump, but I just support the fact that I don't support Biden. How is that? Look at that. This guy has been so ineffective. And it made me start looking at the other the, the other guy who I couldn't I couldn't deal with a few years ago at all. Maybe that has to do with the with, with how much my my mind has opened up to, to, to what's really going on in Asia, what they tell us is going on. And now we have Israel and Palestine. And when the media, and this is the point that I want to make to you, when the media tell you a story, the media try to try to paint the picture, and that's the only place we get our information from about something like war, is through the media. And that's school effect rhetoric around what that what's actually going on there. That's the point. They will tell you stuff while we know that they lie. What happened in Maui? How come there's no investigation going on in Maui? Well, how come we can't see there's no cameras, there's no story? We all know how fucked up what happened there was. We all know how deliberate what happened there was. But the media can control us. Sways us right away. Tired of talking about Maui? Let's change the subject. Taylor Swift. Fucking Jada Pinkett Smith. Who gives
gives a shit? They know you do. This is the problem. Stop listening to them. Let's go back to the point about Maui. Let's go back to the point about this goddamn Israel Palestine shit. Let's look at the bare bones facts in the way that we know it. Yeah, there's, it's an apartheid system going on in, in Israel and it's, it's ethnically cleansing the Palestinians. Let's face that fact together. Yeah? And then look at the media who aren't saying that fact. And let's look at what rhetoric they are trying to push. Yeah? Hamas, 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 yeah, Hamas are creation of Israel. Let's, let's look at how, what perspective they're really trying to teach us. They're trying to force us to have. Yeah? And, and, okay, so now, not only the, the perspective, but then how do they make you, try to make you feel about it? Reporting should be, hey, the sky is blue. Look up and you'll see a blue sky. Everyone, look up, you'll see a sun over there. Look up over there, you see some clouds. See, that's a fact. They're letting you decide how to feel about that subject. Yeah, but when they go, oh, the Palestinians have done this, and you should feel outraged on behalf of the Israelis. Oh, shit. That's, that's, that's sway. That's, that's trying to sway my opinion on what I should be feeling about it. And that's what I mean by war. This happens all the time. What they want to do is they want to divide. They want us to be arguing with each other about who's right and who's wrong all the time. Yeah, and I can go with this whole list of these things that they, that they keep us divided on. Flat Earth, glue. Yeah? Uh, uh, conservative versus uh, uh, liberal. Gay versus straight. I, 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 I'm, I'm telling you, they, they will keep on doing this. Is Antarctica. Uh, can, can you go travel and explore Antarctica now? I'm telling you, is Bigfoot real? Are UFOs real? Oh, not only are UFOs real, but is it blue beam or is it is it aliens? Is it something else? They keep us arguing with each other. Yeah? But the, the real point is they have all the answers to all these questions that we were we, arguing and victory about. So why the fuck are we arguing victory with each other instead of saying, okay, let's use UFOs for example. Okay, keep on seeing shit in the sky. Let's stop arguing about what it is and argue with the fucking people who know what it is and ain't fucking telling us. Yeah? Let's fly around. Hey, you know what? Let's fucking stop arguing with each other and say, hey, just let us go see for ourselves. The fuck? They were humans. Fuck your treaty. Let, some, let David Attenborough go the fuck out there with a whole documentary crew. Do it properly. That's what I'm talking about, so it's fucking pissed me off that I'm arguing with you and you're coming out of my face telling me to prove it. Prove it? What is it? You think I wouldn't want to prove it? Or you want me to fucking turn my car into a goddamn helicopter and fly over and expect not to get shut the fuck down in the no-fly zone over Antarctica? You fucking idiots. Stop fucking arguing about it. That's what's happening right now. We argue with each other to the point that we get tired of arguing and then we look up and the press is telling us, oh, hey, here's this new thing. Here's this new fucking thing. Oh, look over there. Taylor Swift. Oh, Jada Pinkett Smith and Will Smith got seven years they've been separated. What the fuck? What are we fucking doing? What are we doing? I am pissed off, man. This is me and my drive time rants. This ain't fucking drive time, fucking hand holding, hand shaking, kumbaya, motherfucker. I'm sitting here telling you fucking people, okay? I want you guys to understand. You're, you're in a war right now. There's all sorts of stuff happening on our fucking planet. All sorts of shit happening. And you're in the middle of like a fucking rat running a race. Thinking, thinking. That is that's a, of, of your own making, your own decisions. Yeah. Oh, I mean, tell us something, man. Why do you keep on saying that? They wouldn't do that. They, they wouldn't lie to us. Why would they lie? You keep getting that shit. NASA? NASA don't lie. Why would, what do they have to lie about? Oh, okay, let me share with you some ideas on what they're lying about. Here's some. Oh, oh, oh that's it. That's it. All you want to do is prove you're an idiot. Flat Earth or Flurfer. Use the word fucking Flurfer with me, and I understand that you're the fucking idiot. Close my fucking back door, fucking schmuck. Anyway, let me tell you something. 